What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, fixed his stank mouth to say, nuclear is one of the two N-words that should never be spoken in the English language. He said this to a group of people in West Palm Beach, Florida, on Monday. This group of people call themselves Club 45 in honor of his presidency. They formed in 2018 in support of Trump. You know, Trump is really, really good at catering to low-level voters. Anyway, why would he say something like that? I mean... It wasn't even necessary. You know why? Because the N-word is always on the mind of a racist. They love that word, man. They get a kick out of it. I really do believe if they didn't use the word at least 10 times a day, they'd feel inadequate. Like, they're already inadequate. They have low self-esteem, very, very low self-esteem, because think about it, fam. Anybody that have to try to constantly put other people down to get through the day, there's something wrong with them. There's something really sick wrong with them. And you see, the racist people in this country, they have nothing but racism to feel alive because they're empty inside. And I know I'm speaking directly to one right now. And they're saying, how, do, how does he know me so well? I know you. I know your pappy. I know your mammy. I know your grandpappy and your grandmammy. And your great-great-grandmammy and your great-great-grandpappy. And so on and so on and so on. And I know what your kids are like. And I know what your grandkids are going to be like. Y'all ain't got nothing. You're empty inside. And this is why you don't even get along with your own kids. You don't even know why. Because you're dead inside. Nobody likes you. You have no genuine friendships. Yeah, you get drunk with your buddies and stuff like that, and y'all talk a little racist shit. But that's all you got. You have nothing substantial. Nothing sustainable. Just like that dude, McMichael. You know, the guys who went out there and killed Ahmaud Arbery. Same thing. Same thing. Um, just pathetic. Pathetic. And I look down at you. I don't look up. I, I would never look up to one of y'all. I never look at y'all like y'all superior. You can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. But I never look at you like you're superior. I never look at you like, ooh, I wish I was them. I wish I was in their shoes. Never. Man, I, I could do a Dove commercial because I love the skin I'm in. Yeah. And I love the skin that I'm in while not hating the skin that other people are in. But I do hate who hate me. And I ain't no sucker. I will not be hugging you if you do me wrong. You will not get any hugs. You might get some slugs, but you ain't going to get no hugs. Yeah, fam. Donald Trump got that from his pappy. His pappy was a racist. Right there, smack dead on the cover, I believe it was the New York Post. It was one of the New York newspapers from back in the day. And his pappy is captured on the cover at a Klan, was it a rally or a protest? But it was a bunch of them, a mob of them. You know how they do. They don't move unless they have a clear-cut advantage. Size, numbers, weaponry. You know how they do. Straight up cowards. Got it off his pappy. I don't respect nothing about Donald Trump. His money was inherited. His resources 
inherited, passed down. Everybody else just kind of piled on. Once you get a name, you know, it's easy, you know. They just kind of pile on. And it ain't nothing wrong with inheriting money. But when you act like you got it off the muscle, all by yourself, you go around bankrupting, bankrupting companies, leaving your business partners to hold the bag. Well, I'm surprised ain't nothing happening to that boy. For real. He's a thief. Trump, he is the whole package. He's a racist, a criminal, and a no good for nothing son. Yeah, yeah, he's all of that. He's all of that. And he caters to these low level voters. I absolutely would never follow somebody that I'm like, a hundred times smarter than him. Why would I follow him? He dumb. I mean, at least give me somebody who's articulate. Give me somebody who, who, who has a vocabulary uh, with more than just seven words. He got about seven go-to words. Huge, big, win. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> food. Oh, speaking of food, you know it would be cool if we really wanted to just get this dude out the way. We could just give him a whole bunch of junk food at once. And he'll eat it if he thinks he's going to get something out of it. He thinks he's going to get some money or some attention out of it. He'll eat all that food at once. And I'm talking about get that chump uh, extra large pizza from Brothers Pizza. They got them big old, big old, massive pizzas. Extra toppings, everything on top. In fact, extra toppings times 20. Put everything, just, just pile it on. Get that chump a hamburger, put everything on it. A, a triple meat hamburger. One of them fatties. Give him some, about 10 bags of Cheetos. Throw in some Church's Fried Chicken, Popeyes, Hearts, and put that Raging Cajun on him. Then throw in like a whole like bucket of French fries. Recook the French fries in grease and then serve that to them. Throw in about 10 bars of Snickers, some M&Ms, and Kit Kats. You know, he freaky, so he going to like Kit Kats. And uh, hey, man, you know, let him let uh, wash it down with a Diet Coke. That ought to get it. That ought to do the trick for a trick. You know your trick, right? You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't even have no kids if he wasn't a trick. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I said it. Wouldn't have kids if he wasn't a trick. Not with this dude, fam. I don't like him at all. Don't like him at all. Now, he mentioned that nuclear thing because... Russia invaded Ukraine back in February 2022. So he was speaking in regards to p perhaps having to use a nuke on Russia, which we all know that ain't going to happen. But then again, he's so dumb, he, it, he probably thinks it could happen. Do you know, not reportedly, I haven't been able to confirm this yet, but I, I kind of like just believed it because I know he sounds like that. But uh, the story actually escaped me if there's a story out there. But they were saying that this fool said he asked his administration, members of his administration, 
could he send a nuke to Russia, uh, uh, send a nuke to, uh, to China, and make it seem like it came from another country? Now, that sounds like something he would say, because he is stupid for real. This is the same dude who said, uh, if we have nuclear weapons, can't we use them? <laughs> Hold on. I got to get this quote, fam. I got to get this quote. This dude is something else, man. Where, where is that quote? Let's see. Let's see. Trump, 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 Trump. Okay. Here it is. Yeah, and he and he also bragged about the size of his nuclear button <laughs> to Lil Rocket Man. <laughs> yeah, fam. This dude, I'm trying to find that quote that he said about the nuclear uh, bombs. I'm not gonna spend any much much more time on it. Yeah, he said that. Uh, if we have nuclear weapons, why don't we? <laughs> why don't we use them? Let me tell you something, fam. I would not trust Donald Trump nowhere near a nuclear button because that dude, he'll make something go off just playing around. I wonder what this does. Well, that button, I wonder what that button looks like. It looks like the button on my pockets. Poop. All of a sudden, stuff start moving. And... Now, wait a minute. Before stuff can move, you got to get, I think that it's like a series of, like, keys get to, got to be turned or codes and stuff like that. In any event, he dumb enough to do it. I wouldn't trust Trump with a potato gun, let alone the code to the nuclear room. Oh, man. Talk about a disaster. Be worse than looking at his face. No more talk. What the talking about?